friends, our chapel lesson this weekend is going to focus on um, a lesson about Epiphany. And we're going to read Matthew 2, 1 through 5. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem, asking, Where is this child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his stars at its rising and have come to pay him homage. And when King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all of Jerusalem with him. And calling all together the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. And they told him in Bethlehem of Judea. So the wise men are searching for Jesus. And I have a book to share with you that is it's a pretty funny book. It's called Humphrey's First Christmas. It's a little bit about the story uh, or the journey of the wise men. Beloved, most beauteous and exalted king of all should be my name. But instead, they call me Humphrey. That I could bear, but my glorious blanket has been lost along the trail. Now I am never warm and I suffer terribly. So I've come up with a plan to replace my blanket, which is my greatest treasure of all. First, I nudge my nose inside my master's tent. My chattering cold teeth tell him that I am most enormously cold. Success. He has not pushed me out and I am hopeful that a new blanket will soon be mine. Three royal caravans have joined us, but these kings bring me no joy. They have tied three huge chests onto my bare back. The chests are so heavy, and each one must surely be filled with rocks. The other camels have the finest of blankets, and they are comfortable, and they are warm, and none of them thinks about me. I am in pain and misery without my precious blanket. I cry out in sorrow. Soon I continue my plan. I add loud sniffling and the chattering of my teeth, and then I squeeze my entire body inside my master's tent. And when I do, my master rolls out. The tent is exactly camel-sized. It is just as I planned. The master chases me away. He tosses me a new blanket. Once more, I am warm and comfortable and filled with delight. If it were not for the heavy chest I am forced to carry, I would be almost happy. The caravan has followed one star for many nights. Now we enter the town of Bethlehem. Its streets and inns are crowded with travelers. My master gives no thought to my tired feet or my rumbling tummy, and I am forced to keep moving. At last we reach the end of our journey, but I am confused. There is no great palace for the king. There is only a lowly stable with family inside, but the three kings rejoice and rush forward to bow before the young woman who holds the baby. Finally, the chests are taken off my back and placed before this tiny child. As each chest is opened, I see no rocks, only gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I kneel before the baby, shivering in a manger. Watching him makes me happier than water, fresh hay, or even my wondrous new blanket. I look into the baby's eyes, and I am overwhelmed by love. I pull the blanket from my back and lay it carefully upon the child, and he smiles and my nose and whiskers tingle with joy, and I am happy in my toes, and even my blanket. I feel warm. Beloved, most beauteous, and exalted king of all should be his name, but instead they call him Jesus. So Humphrey, of course, is one of the camels that goes on the caravan to see Jesus with the wise men. I wonder how Humphrey lost his blanket, and I wonder if you've ever seen a brand new baby. And I wonder how that made you feel. Hope you guys consider these questions this week and have a wonderful epiphany.